Do you feel enraged when you hear people chewing? Ever snapped at someone for breathing out too loud? Does your blood boil when you hear a person sniff, sigh, snore, or smack their lips? Well, you're likely to suffer from misophonia. Don't freak out. It's not some big sickness that will have you end up in the hospital. It literally translates to hatred of sounds. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone. Welcome back to Black Rose TV NG. I am Rukaya Muhammad Salisu and today I will be talking about misophonia. But before we dive into our topic today, if this is your first time on my channel, I'm pleased to have you. Be part of the family by clicking on the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified when a new video is uploaded. I'll give you three seconds to do that. One, two, three. Okay, let's get started. Before we start, I'm just going to put this up. I'm not a professional on this, so if there's any correction, observation, or suggestion, please drop them in the comment section. Thank you. Um, misophonia, meaning hatred of sound, was proposed in 2000 as a condition in which negative emotions, thoughts, and physical reactions are triggered by specific sounds. Other names include selective sound sensitivity syndrome or sound rage. Sounds like nails on a chalkboard, slapping, chewing, sniffing, or tapping makes people with misophonia cringe or squirm with displeasure. These sounds are referred to as trigger sounds. Although misophonia literally translates to hatred of sounds, it does not technically describe the condition. You may hate the sound of a fork scraping against a plate, but that doesn't mean you suffer from misophonia. Misophonia is characterized by an emotional reaction and intense aversion to a common sound. Typically, a misophonic person's reaction to a trigger sound begins with irritation or disgust and then quickly intensifies in a way that feels uncontrollable. The sound may incite anger or be provoking, and it may significantly compromise a person's ability to function and socialize. Reaction to triggers may include aggression towards the origin of the sound, remaining in its present but suffering or trying to block it or trying to mimic the sound. People with misophonia are aware they experience it and some consider it abnormal. The, dis the disruption it causes in their lives ranges from mild and then to severe. Oftentimes, doctors are not aware of the condition and there is no consensus in regard to classification. Misophonia appears to occur on its own and also along with other health, developmental and psychiatric problems. A breakthrough study recently found that Misophonia is a brain-based disorder. Researchers point to a disruption in the connectivity in the parts of the brain that in the parts of the brain that process both sound stimulation and fight or flight response. It also involves part of the brain that codes for sounds. How to treat misophonia? The condition does not affect daily life, but it is manageable. Treatment often involves a multidisciplinary approach combining sound therapy and audiologist and supportive counseling in which coping strategies are emphasized. Other treatments include talk therapy. Your lifestyle also plays a role. Get regular exercise, rest and sleep, and then lastly, manage your stress because sometimes it is stress that adds up to that trigger sound. One trick that works for me most times is using earplugs or headsets to tune out sounds. When I'm in school, you do not see me without earphones, just so I could avoid or tune out trigger sounds. I'm still in the process and now I know I can tune out sometimes some some sounds from some people, but however, the only trigger sound I cannot tune out is chewing out loud and lip smacking, especially when it comes from family and friends. On this note, I would like to call out to people who do not suffer from misophonia. You guys, misophonia is real. Please, you should respect our condition. Not everyone has the courage to tell people around them that they have it. And some don't even know they have it. They only feel rage when there's trigger sounds. So next time, if a person is bold enough to tell you to quiet it down or stop it, please do them a favor and respect their condition. And please don't ridicule them or torture them with it because it can make them become aggressive towards a trigger sound. I know that, and I'm a victim of that. So please, when a person is 
telling you to quiet something down, especially when it deals with noise, just do it, just so they wouldn't be aggressive towards you. Let me know in the comment section how you deal with misophonia if you have it, and if you don't have it, but you know someone who does have it, how do you help them cope with it? The comment section is open for more engagement. Like, subscribe, share it out, you guys. Meet you in my next video, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.